welcome to another video. Now I'm back on the Airwash Canal, so welcome back to the Airwash Canal. Behind me I've got one of the many mills along the canal between Long Eaton and Sandy Acre. Now I've just walked the stretch from Trowel to Long Eaton and uh, that's in a previous video so I'll put a link up there to that one if you've not seen it yet. So we've got bridge number six over there and in this video I'm going to continue on right to the start of the canal the River Trent and Trent Lock. So I hope you'll join me on this short adventure where we'll say goodbye to the Airwash Canal. So there's a playing fields over there on the right and this is the footbridge number five. Extremely low that one, I had to duck down about that high. Um, it's a good job it's not dark and you're riding your bike. Um, so going that way I'll take you into the estates of uh, Long Eaton and that bridge itself would take you into the town centre. So at this point we are actually bypassing the uh, town centre of Long Eaton but we're about to meet up with a busy road, it's the B6450 and from that direction over there behind those buildings it will take you into Long Eaton and the town centre. Now the canal runs parallel for about a quarter, a third of a mile um, and the road itself goes off towards Sawley in Castle Donington but when the canal does leave the road it'll take a sharp left, go underneath and head off towards the River Trent. So we're going to leave that behind, the main road and that long stretch of canal alongside it. There's a load of swans over there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is that tight left hander I was telling you about, which is going to take us under the road. It's bridge number three. It's quite a, well, it is a blind bend. So let's go around it. I think we'll be all right. I don't think there's any chance of bumping into anything. And it takes that sharp right again. and then we'll gradually move away from the road. So at this point, I'm near enough directly under a flight path and we've got some big jets flying over. The camera can't pick them up. But it's because we're right in the vicinity of East Midlands Airport. So it's one of the main routes in and out of there quite a long section along here there's this distinctive blue brick wall I believe it used to have an iron fencing coming out of the top of it as well Okay, that road behind us, that was Fields Farm Road. 
again that will take you to Sorley and Castle Donington and now we're about to go over a junction on this canal which is now being used I believe as workshops and the private moorings so there's the canal and at this point we've come from Long Eaton and we're heading down towards Trent Lock so there's the River Trent Nottingham that way the River Saw down there and off towards Sawley that way and Ratcliffe on Saw power station So that there is the line between Nottingham and Derby and that will be a service heading off towards Nottingham. It's also numbered as bridge number 2C. And immediately after the railway bridge we've just seen, we've got another one. And that is the line between Stenton Junction in Willington and also take you towards Toton and Nottingham. And that would be bridge number 2B. Immediately underneath the bridge we've also got these stock locks for in times of flood. It's remarkable at this point as well um, how clean the water is the water is I can't get anywhere near to show you and I don't think uh, the camera really picks it up anyway because it's the way the sunlight shines into the water but it's very very clear it's very clear I had plenty of private moorings along here and just look at this houseboat I mean it looks brand new look at that, that's a bit different isn't it spiral staircase on the right brilliant so that's bridge number two for foot crossings only nice and narrow made out of blue brick it's been about five or six minutes since um, I captured that oil train Back there and I can still hear it thundering away over there in the distance heading off towards Stenson and Willington. So another rather fancy houseboat coming into view. I seem to think there was a lot more of these along here when I was a lot younger. Maybe they're still further down.
I don't know if you can see it, just there, there's a canal mooring ring. Just out of sight over there, I'm pointing at it right now. I was pointing at the wrong thing then, but it's right there. Reliably informed that yesterday evening the water wasn't even above that concrete. So it's now come up this one step, it's come up this second step, and they're still waiting for last night's rainfall to actually come down, which is usually about 12 hours later when it comes down the Derwent and from Derbyshire, and they're expecting it to just pass this step just here. So again, that's Lock 60 over there. And through there, we've got the River Trent, and that is severely flooded. That's in flood, that's in flood big time. Okay, that is the end of this video and that is the end of the Airwash Canal journey. I hope you've enjoyed coming this way with us. Uh, it's been four parts of absolute beauty. We've seen industrial areas, we've seen built-up areas and we've seen some absolutely stunning, beautiful scenery along the way. Um, so, right now, I'm going to sit down, have a break. hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care, have a great day. See you soon, bye-bye.